when you center your mind like this, focusing on the breath coming in, going out, you're taking responsibility for your actions, taking responsibility for your happiness. We're born into this world, and we have our parents to look after us, other people look after us, but as we grow older, we find that we have to depend on ourselves more and more. And it's going to become especially true as life continues, even though other people start looking after us as we get older. Still, the state of our mind is what's something we have to be responsible for, and nobody else can do that for us. So what shape is your mind in right now? Can you make it something better? That's what the Four Noble Truths are all about. That even though you may be acting on cravings that give rise to suffering, you don't have to. There's nothing from the past that compels you to keep on suffering, aside from the force of habit. And by being alert and being mindful, you can overcome the force of habit. So whatever your old ways are that are causing you suffering, you're not stuck there. If you were stuck, there wouldn't have been any point in the Buddhist teaching. But he saw that we're not stuck, unless we choose to be. But we also choose to be, to be free. We can also choose to take the path to freedom. Because every life is a path in some direction or another. We're heading some place. Often we're not really aware of the fact. We just flow along. It's just a, we're a river and we flow along with the stream. And there are good streams and there are bad streams. There's the streams that lead to the, the sea of nirvana. There are the streams that lead to whirlpools and sharks and alligators. So which stream do you want to be in? Again, the choice is yours. So as we meditate, we're making the choice. We're, we're heading in the right direction, taking responsibility for the state of mind. We take responsibility for the state of mind that also starts making a responsibility for what you do and say as well. If you're really responsible, it has to come out in your actions. People have to see that this is a person who can be relied on, this is a person who's trustworthy. And so whatever extent we have those qualities already, you try to strengthen them. So working on your mindfulness, working on your alertness like this, is an important task. Because for mindfulness is what it reminds you, keeps your good lessons from the past in mind. Alertness is what watches over what you're actually doing. You have two, those two qualities working together. Whatever lessons you've learned, you don't forget. And whatever you're doing, you don't misinterpret it. You see exactly what you're doing and you see why. That puts you in a really good position. You can make all kinds of good changes. Or if something already is good, you know what to maintain. This way, as you make it your habit to be responsible for the state of your mind, that habit will become a good force into the future. So as you look after your mind, you're taking care of the present moment, and you're also sending good influences into the future that will serve you well. When I was doing an introductory book on Buddhism, I was looking at other people's introductory pamphlets. One thing that always struck me was strange. They start out by saying that Buddhism is a religion that teaches you to rely on yourself. And then in the last pages they say, well, by the way, there is no self. And you wonder why no one had ever noticed that there's something radically wrong there. Well, the first part is true. You, are, you do rely on yourself, even though we depend on the Buddha for his teachings. He said he's simply the one who points out the way. It's up to us to follow his instructions. As for the there is no self, the Buddha never taught that. But he did teach that we take our sense of self as a strategy for happiness. And for the most part, it's a strategy that we do poorly. But it's a strategy that we learned how, we can learn how to do well. As you take responsibility for be for being skillful in what you do and say and think, that's a useful sense of self. Hold on to that as long as it serves its purpose. <laughs>